the money can't buy happiness, and they're absolutely right. But it does make it easier. Uh, it, it, it means that there are thousands of people who didn't have money, or what you just don't have, what you Hi folks, Steve here. Uh, today we are announcing our new product, the Roboto module, which is a robot voice effects uh, with vibrato and pitch bending and shifting module that is very cool. Based off a lo-fi whole tech voice changer IC, but we brought a lot of CV control and a lot of really cool things to this to make it quite an interesting product in Eurorack. So let's take a look at the controls here on the Roboto. Okay, right here we have our input jack, and this is the output jack. Right above the input jack here, we have the level input control, which allows you to take uh, hot signals, uh, really low signals, and be able to boost them. So you can use things like high gain microphones, you can use um, pocket operators, iPhones, things like that, uh, to be able to bring them in and voice affect them if you like to. So it allows you to have some input gain there. Uh, the mix uh, control allows you to mix two different signals at the same time, which is pretty obvious. Uh, right above this here, you have a pitch control. And um, as you can see, there is a pitch light. When we hit the robot control, it, um, robot button, excuse me, it bypasses the pitch. So the pitch doesn't work when the robot is on um, and vice versa. So this will move it around. Uh, there's seven different pitch ranges. In the middle, noon is what is what your standard input pitch is. And then um, to, the, to the left here, uh, counterclockwise, you're gonna go pitch down and uh, vice versa, pitch up to clockwise. Uh, and of course, the, um, the CV input here uh, acts like you're changing the knob on the fly. Uh, the rate, the rate is always um, going and that has, uh, that affects this, the, this clock speed of the chip. And it gives you some really, really interesting um, sounds. On the rear of the Roboto lets you set the base um, clock via a trimmer potentiometer. And that allows you to set the base clock speed and... Um, it allows you to kind of set some the zones that you want to use on the front here. Of course, um, voltage, CV voltage input will also affect um, the movement. It'll emulate the movement of the pot here. Uh, the input jacks here for both the, the vibrato and the robot, those are going to be gates. Um, when, you, um, when, you, when you put a gate signal in, it basically acts like you're hitting the button. So you hit that. Also, if you add... A, um, like a gate, it'll turn on or off those features. So let's kind of see how it functions. Um, let's turn up the input level here, and this is going to be my dry signal, uh, just basically a, 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 a triangle wave from the DSM coming out of the random module. And so we're gonna have random CV affecting it, so you're gonna get a little bit of um, changing frequencies. Let's hear that. Okay, pretty basic here, we just have we just have a uh, very basic triangle wave coming here into the Roboto. You're only hearing that, of course, right now, but if we turn up the mix here, So of course in this mix you can kind of hear both signals at the same time. And we've got the we've got the vibrato and the robot mode on and a really low rate which kind of gives you some strange sounds. So let's mess with the rate knob here. Let's keep turning it up. Okay, so let's hear how the Roboto sounds with just a straight triangle wave from our DSM coming right into it. So I'm going to turn up the input gain here. And this is going to be all the way, this is going to be all the way clockwise on the mix, so it's all wet. So let's just hear exactly what the Roboto sounds like. This is the really low kind of a low, almost stopped clock. Let's turn that up. So let's hear how the pitch is detuned.
playing some of the original signal in here. And that's the robot noise. Okay, now let's change... Uh, let's actually give the uh, DSM a trigger. And also a little bit of random voltage. We'll have a little bit of a slight mix and we'll move some of the controls around. adjusting the input level you can bring in video audio from your iphone or microphones things like that let's turn it up an awful lot. I know that people sue you because you have deep pockets. People invite you to their banquets to promote their own causes. And in a more personal way, I suppose that people come up to Donald Trump and to them, money is your complete identity. And they don't approach kind of you with the taste. kind of uh, personal respect that I'm sure you deserve. Uh, th that must uh, aggravate you, must bother you. Well, it becomes a somewhat impersonal life, unfortunately, and I will tell you that I'm not sure that that's a very good thing or a very helpful thing, but it's I guess the credit is good. Do you pump your own gas at the, at the service station? No, not generally, and, and uh, if I can, you know, it's, it's one of the nice little luxuries in life to be able to say, I'll pay you after five cents a gallon. And on uh, say Friday or Saturday night, you ever sit around in your underwear and order pizza and run a movie and just stay at home? That's an important element in life. I mean, frankly, you're, you mentioned one of my best and favorite phases in life. I love just being home, relaxing, taking it easy, watching television, and maybe necessarily the best pizza. That's good too. But uh, there's nothing like that. So, of course, mixing your favorite audio samples or whatever. 80 foot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it sounds like with just a pocket operator. And then we'll move in some CV to change um, some of the parameters. So let's hear this. Turn it up. Let's go. 